Hey, let's go buy some food. <laughs> This is amazing. The whole walk here, all the way down. Mm-hmm. Perfectly clean, perfectly organized. Yeah, I love it. Oh my god! Is this like a rich country or something? Because it looks <laughs> yeah. like, a, like the richest country in the world. Okay, thanks. Thank, thank you, you, Sebastian. Sebastian, why? Ciao. YouTube, okay, YouTube. Nice. <laughs> oh, super nice guy. All right, welcome to Lima. Peru everybody, you'll have to pardon Ivana and I for being half asleep because two days ago when we arrived in Peru happened to be the day, by coincidence, that both of our bank cards stopped working. Mm -hmm. So the past 48 hours we have had exactly zero Peruvian soles and not much food at all. So we're both really hungry. We did just go to Western Union and retrieve some money. So we are going right now with no further ado immediately to get a please, huge food, meal. Please. Uh, but we have chosen this lovely walkway to start the vlog. This seems to be Main Street in the neighborhood we're staying, which is called Miraflores. Miraflores. And watch this. That's one bus. That's two buses. That's three buses in a row. It seems like Peru, or at least Lima, is the bus capital of the world. Here's another bus. Four out of seven vehicles are buses. I'm not sure if there's no metro or what the idea is, but the bus capital of the world would be one of our first impressions. We've even <laughs> seen buses where there's a guy hanging out the door as the bus is moving with the door open trying to sell bus tickets, which seems like a hard proposal because a bus ticket is not exactly a, an impulse buy. Yeah, yelling at the customer, go, go, go. I'm not sure how you could coerce someone to go on the bus. Either they're going that way or they're not. But <laughs> it seems like Lima is the land of buses. buses. Now I will say there's 11 million people in Lima, which is like one third of Peru's population. Right. And yet the traffic isn't too bad. So maybe this bus system is effective. I will say there's not a lot of skyscrapers. It must be a big city in terms of area because mostly low rises. And the city is surprisingly green. There's lots of beautiful walkways like this. The past green and clean. Green and clean. We've mm -hmm. seen no homelessness nope. and we've seen no graffiti. Yes. Lots of constructions around this area, if you can see behind me. But it's clean and nice. And really, really mm -hmm. nice. So we found tons of nice walkways like this, which is pretty special because uh, Lima gets like almost no rain per year. It's maybe a desert technically or maybe some sort of rocky wasteland or rocky plateau. When we're down by the ocean, you can see yeah. these cliffs and it's all sort of brown and gray. It's very dry, like literally almost no rain. So I'm guessing all of these trees here must be artificially watered by the city because it's more or less a desert and yet the city is pretty beautiful. Yeah, that's right. So we've, uh, we've really loved it. Now, one thing we noticed too is most of these intersections have no zebra crossings. So it's a bit of a scenario where you've got to make eye contact with the driver and do a little and yeah. sort of scurry across the road. We are managing as best as we can. Now, one thing we noticed is a uh, surprising amount of English being spoken in Peru. Oh yeah. We've been pleasantly surprised right. with tons of people speaking English. They seem to do the thing where they say, sorry, my, my English is not so good. <laughs> And then they proceed to speak perfect English. They know at least the basic English yes. for conversation for, with tourists. So it's a nice yeah. opportunity for us to say, you know, your English is very good. Say, really? Oh, <laughs> but uh, lots of people here speaking English. Yeah. And what's amazing about Peru is over 80% of the population has native blood. That's right. Or native ancestry. So it really is a country of natives. Obviously, they speak Spanish here, but we've seen lots of what appears to be native. Uh, sculptures or monuments throughout the city. I'm curious as to uh, how we can access as a tourist some of the native culture because right, being Canadian right. we don't have much access to native culture in Canada so it's very intriguing for me. We did see a couple really big churches so there must be some Catholicism happening. Uh, curious yeah. to see how much of the native culture is preserved would be really nice to learn. Now you'll also see we're wearing masks outside you're supposed to wear a mask i'm yeah, sort of like cheating her? i'm sort of cheating right now and when you go in a store you're supposed to wear two masks 
and proof of vaccination. So it's kind of well organized here in Peru because yeah. every store has an extra employee at the front of the store just checking vaccines right. and double masking. So yeah. they've done a good job of keeping everybody safe and everybody seems to follow the rules. You guys can Ooh, hear honking. the horns. Uh -huh. And that's actually a bus driver who's cutting people off, honking at them. Look at this, look at how many buses. Just you can't leave the buses, three buses in and a row. And they all look different, different colors, different companies. It's a bit of a Dr. Seuss. It's a red bus, blue bus, old bus, <laughs> yeah, new bus. New bus and also fans, like small fans. Small vans, Taxis. huge buses, another bus. This is more of a work truck, but uh, sort of an incredible amount of buses. Now we are both so hungry. There's probably about five more things I want yeah. to tell you, but I cannot remember because I'm I'm on dangerously <laughs> okay. low blood sugar. Let's so let's go eat some food now and then we'll- Now that we have money, we, we must get food. Finally got money. Finally. Okay, let's go eat. Okay, let's go. <laughs> so, relatively beautiful city, no? Yeah. I mean, quite a nice walkway here, tons of greenery. I think there's a huge park over here. That I believe, park. I believe the name is John F. Kennedy Park. Yeah. Which is interesting. <laughs> Maybe we can eat somewhere here, Ivana. International cuisine, Steve. Oh, international cuisine here, McDonald's. <laughs> World famous burgers. Let's and see so, what we can find. I'd also be interested to know what the food is like in Peru. There must be some sort of native twist on the food. It wouldn't be your traditional Spanish uh, empanadas. Right. and parilla or asado. I'm thinking right. there'll be some native food. Although right now, I'm not even looking to experiment. I just want some... Normal food. Just give Normal me a cheeseburger, food? man. I'm so hungry. We've been living on scraps and, and leftovers for 48 That's hours. True. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank God our hotel got free breakfast. If not, I would die. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Maybe I'm exaggerating. <laughs> if it wasn't for the free breakfast, we would have been fasting. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Next stop, a meal. But as you can see, Quite a nice place. Really sort of love it. Relatively quiet. Amazing. I think the street we were on before was much more loud. Yeah. But relatively quiet and clean. Like you yeah. said, Ivana. Green yeah. and clean. Yeah. It's a lot more modern than I thought. <laughs> yeah. And I didn't realize the population of Peru was so big. 33 million. Yeah. And Lima, 11 million. Yes. Just amazing because the city seems to be pretty... Uh, organized. Not a lot of traffic, not a lot of air pollution. I will say, this is the first blue skies we've seen. That's true. The past two days have been... White. Completely white skies. White sky. Which is interesting, there's and so foggy. much clouds and yeah. foggy because this is like no rain throughout the course of the year. So lots of clouds with not a lot of rain. La Fuente. Uh, La Fuente de Soda. Fuente de Soda. Yeah, I'm sold, Ivana. Let's do it. Alright, sounds good. Plano de talle. Plan. Plano de talle. Plano de talle, sí. Only, only, only target. Only target. Target, no? Target. Yeah, target. Ah, target. Focus, focus. Yes, yes. Focus. Plano de talle. Plano de talle. Sí. Your Instagram. Yeah, I cannot speak in English. Where Sorry. are you from? Where are you from? Canada. Canada. Ah, oh, in the best country. Really? The, the best country in Canada. Wow. My amigo vive in Toronto. My Toronto? Friend. Ah, Toronto. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He say it's... O sea, it's repeat. You, you, you vaso. This you, juice. You target, target. 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 Focus, focus. 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 You, you the, soup, The no? picture. You soup that. Yeah, 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 yeah. The name. Ah. Plano de talle. Plano, Plano de talle. Sí. Uh, sí. No, de talle. No, no talle. Ta, de, de talle. Plano de talle. Plano de talle. Sí. Okay. <laughs> Boom. What's your name? Sebastián. Sebastián. Okay. Nice Peruvian. Ah. You're, you're from Lima. Pe sí, from Lima. We're, it's our uh, third third day in Peru. Ah. We're tourists. Okay, vacation. Go to, go to Machu Picchu? Go to Peru. Yeah, yeah, we go Machu Picchu after. Uh, uh, it's a, uh, the, uh, uh, Inca Trail. Inca. Four days. Yeah. Uh, four days, four, day, four, four days, three nights. Yeah. Yeah, it's just the world. Hiking, yeah. Machu Picchu, uh. yeah. Este, no, tranquilo, porque altura. Temperature. Uh, 
Ah, oh, altitude. altitude. Ja, ja. Je gaat, ja. boom. Ah, ah finito. <laughs> finito. Uh, finito, dus je doet tranquilo. No, no, no. No running, slow. No running, slow. Okay. Oh, what can you recommend in Lima? For, for tourists, what can you, what should we do in Lima? Ah, ah, yeah, este, uh, Waka Pucalpa, este, Waka Pucalpa is ah, the very, sí, sí, sí. very nice. The, the, Waka, Waka is the Inca, the, 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 the remains of the Lima. The, the, the Inca, ah. Inca is the, uh, uh, castle, castle Inca. Okay. Yeah, it's aquí nomás, ah. uh, 10 minutes, Miraflores. Okay. It's the, creo que 10 soles, past 10 soles. The pass, ten ah, soles. Ten soles. Sí, ten, ten, no ten. Ten. Y tú vas a es very, very beautiful. Very nice. Waka Pujalma. Okay, we go there. Thanks. Nice to meet you. Okay, thanks. Nice Thank you, you, Sebastian. Sebastian, why? Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> YouTube, okay? YouTube. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, super nice guy. Very so nice. he saw our camera. Yeah. And he was mentioning something about your juice, which, by the way, is not grape juice. It's not grape juice, guys. It's called chicha, which is like purple corn. Purple corn drink. Peruvian purple corn drink. Uh, okay, so <laughs> first time trying. It couldn't taste like corn, could it? To me, it doesn't taste like corn at all, but then I've never eaten purple corn before. Good point. It tastes Can I like try? grape to me. Can I but try? Maybe it's because it is it's a grape. Purple. Oh, maybe your eyes are connected to your taste buds. It's like grape. <laughs> what do you think, Steve? Whoa. <laughs> no, it tastes like um it tastes like Coke, Coca-Cola that went flat. Really? If you leave it open for too long and all the bubbles go away, it tastes like flat Coke and cinnamon. It's Oh yeah, you were right. Cinnamon. There's a cinnamon bad. flavor in it. Tastes like flat coke and cinnamon. For it's not me, bad. For it's me, made it from like grape juice. purple corn, which is very uh, interesting. <laughs> so shout out to Sebastian, by the way. <laughs> yeah. He just came over and, and I said, "Film this guy. He's very interesting." <laughs> All right, let's eat. I'm so hungry. Hey, cheers. Cheers. Oh, how do you say cheers here? Probably Saudi. Saudi. Uh, Probably same like same? same like Portuguese, but Portuguese they put uh, the G. We need to learn. Saudi. I would guess Saudi. Okay. Also, we need to learn the local beer to drink. Ah. I'm drinking this one, which is local. Is fills in. But there would be a popular one, maybe. Okay. So let me know. If you're Peruvian, let me know the, the really good Lima beer. Right. Anyway, nice. Saudi, I think. <laughs> Gracias. Look at this. Gracias. No idea what she's talking about. I, think, I don't speak, I mean, sorry. I think she said bon appetit. Okay, okay. I just gave her a thumbs up and said Portuguese words. That looks amazing, Steve. <laughs> so Ivana's got something here. <laughs> called uh, uh pollo saltado pollo saltado which means salted chicken okay and it's cooking a wok it's actually a chifa food chifa is a peruvian chinese food because there are actually a lot of chinese people living here really yeah lots of chinese immigrants interesting i don't know when they immigrated here actually we have to find out more Maybe yes. we'll f visit the Chinatown. Uh, they have a Chinatown in Lima. So right. we'll visit Chinatown one day. That's a good idea. Uh, yeah, so I see people who look Asian yep. on the street. Yep. And, and, it, and it, it can be hard to tell because the native yeah, kind of look looks Asian, Asian too, yeah. but some people look distinctly kind of like you. Yeah, I, I look more local here again. <laughs> again. Yo, we got to go to Norway or something so I can fit in. <laughs> Denmark or something. <laughs> oh, let's try it though. It looks so good, man. So salted oh, chicken. with yeah. potato. Mm. Oh my god. Amazing. And I got uh, pojo milanesa mm. because in Brazil everyone's eating milanesa oh and it's on my mind. What Look do you got at there? the corn. It's so big here. Whoa. Big corns. <laughs> wow. corn? Yeah. Big corn. It's like the size of a uh, like a like a baby carrot if you sliced it. Mm -hmm. So they got big corn Good. and they got purple corn. <laughs> Come to Peru if you're a corn lover. Yeah. Mmm, <laughs> gracias. Oh, salsa. Uh, gracias. <laughs> Yo, I can't stop saying regado. <laughs> okay, Ivana, I actually cannot wait. I'm so hungry. That looks I'm so about good. To I'm gonna fall. steal some. Yeah, go ahead. Don't and be the shy. banana? Come on. Fried banana. Fried banana. Do we eat it together? Of course. <laughs> Fried banana and fried potato. Mm. Mm. Oh my 
Darn. Yo, the first proper meal, proper meal in 48 hours. Let's go. Amazing. Guys. All right, let's eat and then we'll go explore some more of. Uh, I think our idea is to go down by the waterfront. Yeah. Ocean front. Mm -hmm. uh, one, two, three, <laughs> four buses in my sight here. I got four yeah. buses. Let's eat. All right, let's go. All right, so what did we learn? Oh, hold on, chess. Distracted by chess, maybe we'll play a game. But what did we learn at dinner? I should say lunch. Uh, are we supposed to tip in Peru? We're not sure. Ivana and I are usually tippers. Yeah. So we did leave 10% of 66 soles, which is a good price for that meal. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, Ivana also told me that Peru is the gastrointestinal capital <laughs> of... Gastronomic. What did I say? <laughs> Gastrointestinal? I don't know what you said. For what, surgery? What does that even mean? Anyway, gastronomic capital of South America. Yeah. So I'm not sure who votes on that or how they agreed, but food was really good. Yeah, really it good. Cannot be the price. Also, we realized that um, the temple that Sebastian was telling us about, which we told him, yeah, we'll go there one day. Mm -hmm. We went there this morning. Yeah. So we were a bit spaced out and we forgot. We were walking along after we got our money. We were kind of strutting and very exciting that we got some money. Yeah. And we saw a museum and beside the museum was this 1500 year old pyramid or the ruins of it at least. And I will say first things first, the tour guide there was incredible. Yeah. Big shout out to her. She had a speaker. She spoke perfect English <laughs> and she was definitely worthy of five stars. Ding. And so we learned a lot. We saw some pits in the ground where archaeologists discovered human remains and it would be most likely human sacrifice. So 1500 years ago, uh, the Lima civilization mm -hmm. was doing human sacrifice. They were even doing infant <laughs> sacrifice, which is putting a live infant in an elder's tomb as to give the elder some purity and some innocence on his passing into the afterlife, mm -hmm. which was pretty bold. It was uh, really beautiful on top of the temple, on top yes. of the pyramid, where we could see all the modern buildings with the sort of it's ancient yeah. ruins in the foreground. It was really, really beautiful. And the tour costs 15 soles. I was just gonna say, he has it's not has anymore. Soles. 15 soles. So they had reenactments of how they built the stuff. Mm -hmm. They did have an amazing technique of the mud bricks that was actually earthquake proof. Right, wow. So they had yeah. these kind of almost like a bookcase, and they had triangles in the bookcase that could resist Pretty an smart. earthquake. 1500 years ago, um, different religion, yeah. human this sacrifice. Is, it was really beautiful. They even had a museum there. It was really eye opening. Yeah. Uh, we it, really loved it. It, it, it was amazing. It, it, the, just remember, this is before the Inca civilization. Amazing, amazing. Right. So <laughs> Ivana and I were calling that temple uh, Mini Pichu. Right. It's not Machu Pichu, obviously yeah. much smaller, but it was Mini Pichu. Yeah. And now maybe I can get a game of chess in. I would be really excited. Yeah. We've got some chess players here. You guys know I fancy myself a chess player. We'll see if we can play a game. Uh, <laughs> it might cost five soles, but I'm willing to try. Let's go. There's even one Okay, unfortunately no games today because they said come back later and all the tables will be full. So maybe on the way back we'll play some chess. Yeah. But the next stop for us is to attempt to go to the waterfront. I think there might be a beach down there. I'm not really sure. There's certainly a bunch of cliffs and stuff we saw on our drive on the way up here. But uh, let's go. Lima, Peru, beachfront. Let's do it. So absolutely beautiful park here. Uh, not a blade of grass Lots out of, of place. Ivana is right about that. Lots of cats, no stray dogs, but many seemingly stray cats. Yeah. Looking very yeah. relaxed. In front of a beautiful church. In front of a church over here. Wow. I am curious, Ivana, what do you think? When I was talking to Sebastian, mm -hmm. I wanted to ask him if he was native. <clears throat> Right. In Canada, it's okay to ask where people are from, what their yeah, ancestry yeah, is. Yeah. I don't know if it's obnoxious or if it's rude. Maybe the hmm. audience on YouTube can let yeah. us know. I'd like to ask him, hey man, are you native? Like, Because I'm, no, I'm cu very curious of the native uh, culture right. and traditions and stuff. So uh, maybe, yeah. maybe the YouTube comments can let us know. Yeah, I don't know if it's appropriate if it's okay. or not. <laughs> not sure either. <laughs> man, we must be on a roll here today. Because everywhere we walk is like... Uh, 
Made for walking, no? Ooh, Ivana, maybe subway, maybe metro. This might be a station de pago. Might be a metro. Oh, so then they do have a metro, guys. I think they do have a metro. Oh, I didn't know that. All the buses made me think there was no metro. Yeah. Stay tuned for a metro review. We quite enjoy doing a metro Video, review. Yeah. But pretty nice place to walk. I mean, the weather is kind of perfect. Every day it's been 27. Not a lot of sun, but no rain. So it's sort of yeah. mild every day. Very nice. And uh, you won't find a piece of garbage. Okay, one, I lied. <laughs> one piece of litter, but it's near a garbage can. So it's in the area. And everything is sort of kind of great. Pretty good first impressions, no? I mean, pretty good, right? I like it. I like it so far. So I like it a lot. You like it a lot. Oh, check out this. We got the uh, playground for the kids over here. Okay, without further ado, let's go to the beachfront. Wow. <laughs> Look at this, guys. How oh, beautiful. Very beautiful. <laughs> what an amazing park. This is just gorgeous. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. This is amazing. The whole walk here, all the way down. Mm -hmm. Perfectly clean, perfectly organized. Yeah. I love it. Oh my god. Is this like a rich country or something? <laughs> it must have been just a the best parts of Lima or something because it looks yeah. like, a, like the richest country in the world. This is amazing. Look at that. I think there's something going on there. Lots of people right there. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Wow. Look at this. Oh, live music. Oh, live music. Okay. So it's not a live music show, but rather a dance show. And we've accidentally gotten ourselves the worst seats in the house. So the, the crowd is sort of on that side. There's this huge statue here. I think it's of two people making out. Yeah, I think is so. the statue. It's called the Love Park. Oh, Love Park. Yeah. And then there's sort of a horseshoe uh, bleachers where everyone's sitting. Uh -huh. And we're sort of behind the stage. And everyone's dancing on chairs and doing something cool. And uh, the sun is sort of setting on this. Looks like an island, but I think it's actually the peninsula over here. It's like, amazing. And this is the road we drove here on, with the pools down here, and a huge cliff, sort of rocky. Wow, guys. What do you say, Vana? First impressions of <laughs> first impressions of Lima. Uh, do it in oh do it in God. one word. It's I don't know, beautiful. It's uh, I didn't expect this. I was gonna say wow. unexpected or surprising. Surprising, definitely. I mean, I have been to Peru before, but I have only been to Machu Picchu. I didn't come to Lima, so uh. this is like. Wow. I mean, it's the city an is. Amazing city. It's got some sort of South American feel to it, uh, but the wardrobe is different than in Brazil. Yeah. The wardrobe is different than in Argentina. The people. Uh, the people are different. The food is different. We've got lots of videos coming. So yeah. please subscribe to our channel. We will definitely do Chinatown. We will definitely do uh, some, market. some big markets around here. We've got to uncover the food. I'm mm -hmm. super interested in if we can some native culture if we can meet some friends and explore uh loving this mosaic tile all the way around and i guess the performance has finished because everyone's cheering uh i am i am pleasantly surprised with peru yeah based on my it's sort of nice. preconceived notions of what south america is like uh there's definitely some south american vibe here but totally unique uh to me so we are loving it we've got this uh beautiful bridge here with these green sort of hills. Uh, wow. First impressions, very good. First impressions, wow. Very good. Despite our first day, despite our first day. Oh yeah, it's so funny that our first day was such a disaster and now we're on the third day and it's wow, going well. Amazing, wow. I love it guys, I love it here. <laughs> Whoa, Ivana. Amazing. Really. Good one, babe. Yeah. All right, thanks for watching guys. We'll see you later. Love you. I okay. saw you are with uh, I saw you are with uh, Diet, uh, with this woman too. Oh. Uh, I saw it, but because your <laughs> your face is uh, it seems to Peru. Yeah. 
Right, right. Seems Peru. Oh. Yes. Peru. Yes. Yeah. Your, your face is like, <laughs> it's like Peru. How about me? Do I look? Do I look Peru? Oh, no, you are tourist. I am tourist. Ah, oh, <laughs> gringo. Blonde. Uh, yeah. Your face is is, is, is white. Yeah. So it's, it's different. But you, you're foreign. I look local. Peru. Uh -huh. <laughs> Where are you from? Canada. Canada. Toronto. Toronto. Yeah, Toronto. It's a nice country, Toronto. I enjoyed your vacation to from Peru. Yeah, yeah. vacation yeah. to Lima. So then to go to other other provinces. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Machu Picchu, of course. This is our uh, third day here. Yeah, third Machu Picchu. Day. Maybe maybe it's raining. I don't know. Oh. Uh. So we are Hop. so take Hop. care, but it is normal. Yeah. yeah. This is adventure. You know? Yeah, adventure. <laughs> right. Thank okay. You, uh, nice to meet you, Jose. Wow. So uh, two for two with yeah. friendly locals here. So friendly. Sebastian and Jose. He started speaking Spanish to me, and I'm like, I'm sorry, I speak English, and this is like, oh, you look local. Uh, I'm like, what about me? He's like, no, 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 no. no. Ivana is more local again. <laughs> Good song choice. <laughs> 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 <laughs>